What's up, everybody? Furious Pete. Furious talks. Just here in my office, hanging out, doing work. Um, I am heading to the Olympia on uh, when is it? Wednesday morning. I'm leaving. Um, and I am there for the Friday Saturday Expo that is going to be taking place. The Mr. Olympia Expo. Um, or is it called the Olympia Expo or Mr. Olympia Expo? I never know. Um, and I'm going to be there with Quest Nutrition, hanging out, having a good time, eating all their protein bars. My dog is here chilling, relaxing. He wants me to scratch his ass, but you guys can't see that on the video because my camera's there, set up, and I don't want to move it. Um, so yeah, want to do that announcement. In case you guys are at the Olympia, please come down, say hi and all that other jazz. Um, I am going to be filming a lot of content, so i um, going to be at the Expo for a little bit, like I said, uh, at the Quest Nutrition booth, and that is from 11 to 2 every single day. And it's going to be a really great time, and I'm going to film some other content. Uh, there's a bunch of challenges that uh, do exist in Vegas, so I'm going to be doing those as well, because I am bulking still. Um, I posted up this picture the other day. Furious is just non-stop relentless here. Look at him. He is just wants that, just like that, the whole time. Um, non-stop, relentless, I'm um, getting attention. Um, and uh, so, posted up this photo, and I was asking people if I should continue bulking or not. And most people said, keep on bulking, because you can still see your abs. And to be honest, like I can see my abs here and there, but I also don't train my abs, which is another thing that... I'm going to start doing very soon uh, because I feel like I've always said, hey, I don't really need to train my abs um, because I train them, you know, by doing squats and deadlifts. And very true, you know, you use your core for all that stuff. But at the same time, I never really have that defined six pack when I do cut down, uh, which kind of sucks sometimes, you know, you put in all that effort into cutting and yet then you don't have that much to show for it, even though I don't really cut that often. Um, but that brings me to the topic of conversation is, am I going to continue bulking? And the answer is, I think so. Um, I'm in a position right now where I am, you know, I'm able to lift uh, when I want to because um, I have weights in my garage and I am training there lately. So just, you know, being able to, you know, just, I can be more serious about it. Um, and, you know, just concentrate and, and, and be with myself, you know, rather than going to a public gym and, you know, being tight and everything and you can't necessarily drop the weight and, and have to wait for a bar. So I'm able to do that and, uh, which leaves me the opportunity just to really focus on getting certain lifts up and getting, you know, stronger with certain lifts. And so, um, yeah, I think I'm going to continue bulking for a bit, um, uh, but, and probably stop come January and do a big cut then. Uh, I got a bunch of projects in the works, so I think I'm going to bulk until January or until the end of the year. Um, not necessarily like full on bulk, but just keep focusing on strength gains and not really worry about, you know, being sh shredded or in defined or and all that other stuff. People have said that, oh, your face is getting all puffy and shit. Well, that is part of the process. That is part of the game. If you want to bulk, you are not going to do it, you know, be shredded the whole time unless you're on drugs. In which case, good for you. If you want to do that, do that, whatever. Um, I will eat my food and lift heavy and take my proteins and, and pre-workouts that are going to give me enough energy to lift weights and get bigger. As long as I eat a shit ton of food, I will be good. Um, so anyways, uh, going to do that. But that leads me to say, um, is it necessary, you know, maybe there is a limit with bulking. Um, especially if you are doing it too fast or not prepared or um, just simply not taking the proper precautions. And this brings me to um, joint pain. You know, when you get heavier, you apply a lot more pressure and weight on your joints. So on your knees, on your ankles, on your arms, everywhere. You know, as they get heavier, and as you start lifting more and pushing more, 
you apply a lot more pressure on your joints. So um, that begs that you know brings up the 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 argument, the topic of argument, in which you know maybe you shouldn't bulk that much. Maybe you should you know limit your time in which you're bulking in order to give your joints a break. So um, that you know that's definitely a big thing of mine that um, I've been doing physio uh, the last last week. Um, I haven't done physio in a long time. You know I've I've complained that I had pain going from here to here, um, and I wake up literally I can't feel my hands uh, because of the nerve damage I have here right now. Um, it's getting better. I was able to we. We were able to actually get my nerve uh, engaged a lot more easier lately, um, you know, by doing um, what the hell do you call it now? Ah! Why can't I remember? What is it? Acupuncture. That's it. So we did acupuncture on my arm, um, and it is it's cool. Uh, I've never done it. It's kind of weird to put those needles in there, um, but it's it's cool. Um, and it's definitely helping me. It's getting those nerves engaged and it's definitely helping me. So I'm doing that, but at the same time, I'm, I'm also scared to put on more weight, um, because of, well, simply I'm probably like the heaviest I've ever been, uh, or I'm getting really heavy and you know, the getting, you know, doing squats, doing all these other movements, you can feel it a lot more. And am I causing, am I gonna cause more damage? Am I gonna, you know, is it is it really worth putting all that weight on at once? And it just, it, I don't know. And I, I'm rambling right now and I also wanna kinda ask you guys what you guys think of it, you know, when you're bulking, do you notice that your joints start to hurt? And you know, do you notice that if you just do too much of a bulk, you know, sometimes it's just, not good, you know, maybe you do need that break simply for your joints, not because you've gone too, too plump in the face or too plump in the belly, you know, it's, it's everything else that matters because if you fuck up all your joints at a younger age, you're going to be fucked in, you know, when you're older and you don't want that. Um, you know, I'm starting to, you know, when I was younger and you go to the gym, you start, you lift because you want to be strong. You want to lift all that badass weight and show off to your friends and, and show off to the ladies and everything. But as I'm growing older, I'm trying to become more smart about it because I want to do fitness for the rest of my life. And um, I want to make sure that I I'm able to continue doing fitness for the rest of my life. So I need water. Yes. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> um, I want to continue doing fitness for the rest of my life because it's fun. But if I end up screwing up all my joints and, you know, pulling this and breaking that, then I'm not going to be able to, or I'm going to be able to, or I'm going to be doing, you know, a tenth of the weight that I'm doing now, which isn't fun. It's fun to lift heavy, but you have to be smart about it. And if your body becomes too heavy, to do certain movements and your joints get all messed up, then you're going to be screwed. I keep repeating myself, but it just begs a question. What is the maximum duration? What is the most weight you should put on at once before you take a break from bulking and, you know, you know, and maintain and, and, you know, lose some weight and to give your joints a break. Do you triple up on the glucosamine? What do you do? Um, I'm rambling because I'm, I, I want your opinion. And if you guys can give me your opinion, I would appreciate that. I don't know how long this video has been so far, but I am assuming that it is too long at the moment. And as a result, you guys are probably very bored of, of the rambles right now. So I, I believe we're going to close it off. <laughs> oh, man. Man. You would think I would edit this out of the video, but I will not. I don't know why. I'm gonna close off. Um, yeah, remember to add me to Snapchat. I am, I'm playing around with that. Uh, it's fun. 
it's fun to snap and you guys are sending me pictures. I haven't had any dick pics, which is awesome, so I appreciate that. Um, I did in the past, but ever since I announced my Snapchat, I haven't had any dick pics, which is awesome. Um, and also on Vine, follow me on Vine. I'm going to include those links in the below, the description below. I'm, I'm being retarded right now. I think it's because it's midnight here. I'm tired. We did a surprise party for my mother yesterday, so we were drinking a lot of wine. It was her 60th birthday. Um, we drank a lot of wine, and uh, we, uh, well, we got intoxicated as a result. Um, and uh, today's been slow. I've been working, but today's been slow, and it's hard to, it's hard to work on Sunday sometimes, you know? Anyways, gonna call it off. Guys, well, hopefully we'll see a bunch of you guys in Las Vegas um, at the Olympia Expo. And you guys are gonna, well, we'll eat some Quest Bars together. Alright? <laughs> Alright, stay dedicated for life, my friends. Team Furious. Stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get laid, my friends. I'm gonna smell it exactly the way I smelt it. Oh, the smell is just, oh man. <laughs>